everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivory Spice is caring guys. Boom! And today guys, it's Leeds United nil, Manchester United nil, a ball draw, the Rose Derby ending in a ball draw. Whew. Sunday. Whew. They had me thinking today was going to be a spicy game, you know. Just compare it to the last game that we was at Old Trafford. Six, was it 6 1 or 6 2? By Manchester United. Leeds being so open, you would have thought today, yes, we're going to get at these, pat them in, pat them in, sex them up differently like we did last time, you know. Make them sweat, you know. Two rounds, the round two this time. The first round was peak for them, but this is the second round. But hell no, we did not do anything. We did not turn up. We turned up with a floppy dick. Honestly speaking, floppy dick. Floppy dick because we didn't do nothing to them compared to what we did in the first game at Old Trafford. Give them that super D. This time with the floppy D. But guys, oof, dropping two points. Still second place. Cemented, of course. I definitely think that Manchester United will finish second this season. But apart from that, despite everything, the match was just shit at times. But it was okay. It was shit, but okay, if you get what I mean. Dan James, oof, headache. Opportunities where he knew... He should have scored and he knew it himself as well like it the, the players looking at him bruno fernandez having that look looking at him saying oh shit. which we'll talk about later on because boy oh boy oh boy dj daniel james was not my cup of tea but i i do like a trial you know a try hard so let's not just pull it over him i'll put it on him later apart from that the game with the performance drawing nil nil I don't know what to say, guys. It is what it is. And, I, and then, is it, is it a thing where, guys, you think that it's because of what happened so far this week where the other ops as well kind of dropped points as well with the distraction of the European Super League? Would it be that? I don't know. But we had a whole week to rest. Papa not starting made no sense. Made absolutely no sense. I was just thinking, as soon as I saw DJ started, I thought to myself, yep. There goes us, we're starting with 10 men. 10 men on a team, because whenever DJ starts, I know we are playing with 10 men. And you have to be honest, guys. It is the truth. Whether I'm being raw or heartless, it is the truth. Daniel James, when you start him, you are practically playing with 10 men. Mm -hmm. Man down. Run, pum, 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 Rihanna. Just like, just, I just shut a man down, you get me. Let's go straight into the match, because there was nothing to talk about in the match. Let's get real with you guys. Match in the first 45 minutes, guys. 20 minutes. Man United, that was a slightly better team. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll be honest with you. Man United being a slightly better team against Leeds would create a bit more chances. DJ having a couple of chances of making the wrong decisions, let's be honest with you. Rashford as well with Bruno Fernandes. It was a decent first 20 minutes. Up, but then after that, it died. Second half, died. Died, 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 died. We was pressing in that second half, keeping him on the ropes. But that was later on, after the 75th minute, when Oli finally decided to make his first substitution, which I thought was bloody late. I thought, Oli, at times I'm so tired with this late substitution. That's one of the things that really grinds my gears. It grinds my gears to the top. Oh, Lord, I gave me strength. Yes. Late, late substitution. Paul Power should have definitely came on around the 65th minute. Take it off Daniel James because Daniel James was poor. He was poor in his decision makings, especially in the final third. I have also thought I should have put Van Der on at the same time, but nah, bro. Oli always making the wrong decisions in terms of substitutions. So late, so late. Cavani, why, why are you bringing him on in the 88th minute? <sighs> Calm down, have a spice. Just calm down. No, 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 no. For all league on the social with the late substitution. That, like I said, guys, it pisses me off. Because I just thought that he should have made this substitution slightly earlier, which would have maybe resulted in us winning the game. But unfortunately, Oli did not do that. And this is where I say the tactical naivety comes from with Oli. 
this substitution thing not knowing how to affect the game sometimes which he has done in the past and give him credit for that but many games he's unable to affect with his substitutions it's too late match finishing nil nil ball draw overall i just thought phew, we could have another opportunity to just you know carry on with denting the rest of the teams and making sure that we can get that second place and still put a little bit of pressure on Man City. Not like we'll win the league, but just put pressure on them, you know, just in case you drop points again. So, so that when we do finish second, it's not 10 points, it's like five points respectively. And that's why I want a respectful finish, especially with the distance between us and first place. Man of the match today, guys. This goes to absolutely no one, but I will give it to the fans. The fans that turn up to the to the protest at Old Trafford on Saturday at 3 p.m. Those are who's going to get the man of the match today. Big ups to you, men, because I loved what I saw and and the pictures and the videos. Of course, I tried to do my own thing in terms of promoting it and all that kind of stuff. But big up to those guys. Big ups to you, men. I saw you guys. You did your thing. Don't give the match has to go to Daniel James. With Daniel James, I know he knows that these players or his teammates think he's shit. Because whenever he makes a mistake, whenever he loses the ball, when players are shaking his head, I see that face where he has no confidence. He's looking left, right and centre like, these men know I'm shit. I'm just trying my best. And Bruno Fernandes as well is telling him and looking at him, especially that opportunity where he just made the wrong decision. Bruno looking at him. Knowing that he's shit as well. And I actually just see it. I just have to say, he's not that he's shit. Daniel James doesn't believe in his own confidence. He's, he has no confidence in his own abilities. Actually, honest with you. Not to be honest with you guys. He has no confidence in his own abilities. And that's the reason why he constantly makes mistakes and loses the ball. And he looks like, you know, he knows he's shit. But he ain't that shit. He just needs coaching. He, he needs confidence. That's what he needs, because I'll be behind DJ, because I see what he can do with that pace. Um, he can do way more, but he ain't doing it. And that's what will make the club get rid of him. Because boy, with that, with no end result, boy, you can't be living out here for that long. Manchester United Holics. Next game, it is Roma, then the beat those scouts is Liverpool. And we will beat you. We will beat you, Old Trafford. But first, Roma, we will smack them up. Guys, remember to catch the Crack Drop Volume 41 tomorrow, live at 8 p.m. on Monday. We go live. And remember to catch the Manchester United Weekly Bulletin, my new show on Friday, which will go live at 9 p.m. So get involved with that. Remember to follow the official Instagram account on Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also the official TikTok account, which is Red United TV. And remember to follow my personal Instagram account, which is iForin on the school spice. And also the same goes for Twitter and also Snapchat. As always, guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Remember to share because sharing iVorin spice is caring. And ladies, as always, as I always say, remember if you got any guys that's trying to move to you, just as your ex-boyfriend still remember to share to him remember to share to the guy that's trying to move to you at right? the bus stop which have you go to work remember to share to him when they ask for your number you slap that to him as well yeah and don't even talk to him after that and also remember to share the, to the guy that's trying to move to you at the train station also your local chippy shop and also your pastor that's tried to slightly just drop a couple of bars and last but not least Remember to share to your dad's friends that keep telling you, my oh my, you've gone. And when you slap in that link, and when they say, what is this? Tell them that you found a man that does it way better than you. Of course, guys, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it ready night because my night have just made me think, rah, we could have won. But boy, it is what it is. Peace out.